20th Century Studios and director Fede Alvarez just dropped the first teaser trailer for Alien Romulus. I'm going to take a look at this one next. Hey everyone, it's the Outlaw John Roca. How you doing on this hump day this Wednesday? I am doing well and I'm really excited to be diving into this first teaser trailer for Alien Romulus. I'm a massive Fan of the Alien franchise, you know, Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, and then it's a bit of law diminishing returns and about uh, your own personal feelings, subjective feelings about the subsequent installments that have come since that time. Kaylee Spaney leads the way for this one, who I just enjoyed in the movie Priscilla. And we've also got Isabella Merced, who just, uh, you know, she was the best part of Madam Webb, in my personal opinion, but I like her as an actress. She's certainly been coming on here over the last few years and certainly part of maybe the third franchise. Now, if you look at what she had with Transformers, then Madam Web, now into Alien. So, real excited. This is only a teaser trailer. It's only about, I think, about a minute or a little over a minute long. So, I'm curious to see what we're going to get in here and how much of the story. Is this going to be one of those wasted trailers that just pops up and shows certain things? Or are they actually going to show us some of the action, some of the face huggers, some of the xenomorphs, and some of the action going on in this movie? So, real curious to see what we're going to get here. But let's not waste any time here. Let's bring up the trailer and let's take a look at this first teaser trailer for Alien Romulus. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Are we just doing voices? Oh! Run. Oh! Oh! coming out april 16th um okay uh i like that as a teaser trailer right um just hearing the voices and the voiceover stuff going on here from probably different scenes from the movie and people experiencing the alien for the first time with the xenomorph for the first time and their reactions to it where is this set when is this set what's going on with this one let me see if i've got the synopsis pulled up here the description reads while scavenging the deep ends of a derelict space station a group of young space colonizers come face to face with the most terrifying life form in the universe yeah so this is interesting because they're colonizers whereas when the first one right they're just uh, working they're like uh, construction guys or whatever uh and so not really uh, colonizers so to speak so interesting to hear that and this feels like okay what if this xenomorph got on another ship what would happen in that kind of a situation so it doesn't seem to be tied into the previous installments although the lore and mythology will probably be the same as they adhere to the things they've already presented in the previous installments of these alien franchise movies so i like that but like zooming in around here seeing the blood on the walls seeing the the feeling that of tight quarters here the darkness the dark light the way it's lit there so it feels like you constantly can't see what's coming around the corner the colors they've used here i think look really interesting and the general overall vibe here is pretty badass and then seeing the face huggers seeing the xenomorph at the end seeing the actresses involved in this one being a part of these quick scenes I, I got this feeling that this it, we're in the right hands with Fetty Alvarez. For those of you who've seen Don't Breathe, you know that's one of the best films that's come out over the last few years. And those, so it seems like he does really well in putting things in tight spaces and making you terrified like crazy about what you're experiencing and not knowing what's going to happen around the corner. And I certainly jumped a couple of times watching just this one-minute teaser trailer. So I'm crazy excited. And who is that standing in the doorway? Is that another um, android there who is going to be a part of of this uh what, what what's his role to play on all of this and the other actors involved in this david johnson archie renault spike fern and eileen Wu. uh there those are the actors that we get so a nice a nice mixture of actors here who are come in and play this uh play this role because remember a lot of the actors from back in the first alien movie weren't that well known uh when this when that film dropped so uh we, we may be seeing some really good actors that we're going to be seeing for quite some time over the next few years here uh in, in front of our eyes so this 
absolutely for a teaser trailer knocked it out of the park got me excited i want to see more can't wait till we get a full trailer for this one but it's coming out on august 16th so we've got some time before these trailers drop and i can't wait to see what more of the story that's going to be told here well what did you all think did you like it did it get you excited did it scare the shit out of you did it get you thinking that we're in the right hands this is going to be this isn't going to be one of those recent kind of middling ridley scott uh installments this one feels like we're going back to the basics of the first one did you like that vibe did you like that energy or did it not work for you? Did you think it was overdone or whatever? Let me know down in the comment section below. Hit a like on this video, share it on your social media, and hey, more than anything else, please subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button so you see when we're dropping all the content we do just like this. And don't forget my out-of-the-theater reaction for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is up right now. And later on today, we're going to have our review, Steve Morris and I, of the most recent episode of Shogun there on FX and Hulu. Look for that dropping later today. All right, take care of yourselves. Be well. And I'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the Outlaw Nation.